plugins that harness cutting edge AI technology to classic synth sounds you'll instantly recognize and love, these are the best free plugins you need for 2024. Now to kick things off, I wanna talk about a sampler that I absolutely have fallen in love with. It's not technically a VST, but it is a free download for Mac and Windows, and you can export it to your DAW session very easily, and that is Koala Sampler. It's based off their incredible mobile app, which is perfect for field sampling. For the free desktop version, I enjoy dragging samples from Splice or resampling my computer audio. You can perform basic sample editing and sequence in patterns, but I feel like Koala really shines when it comes to effects processing. There are two sets of effects, vanilla and strawberry. They also really make it easy to resample all your effects processing. If you're into sampling, this is one you need to check out. If you're looking for more effects plugins to give you that sampled sound, Yum Audio has some excellent free plugins to consider. My favorites are Spread and Flux Light. Spread is excellent for widening your stereo image. It has two processing algorithms, Midside and Haas, and it's an excellent tool to add to your mixing chain. Flux Light is a tape emulation plugin, and it's a really good go-to to add imperfections to sounds that are otherwise sterile or static, or even just to add more instability to your sound. Add in Transpanner, which gives you 360 degree panning capabilities. You'll be in a really good place when it comes to panning and imaging for your mixes. One of the ones that feels like magic on this list is definitely Newtone. It uses AI to carry out a process called timbre transfer, which basically imprints the sound quality from one sound to another. Check out how it can imprint a choir onto this epic piano sample. Newtone is cutting edge, but if you're looking for a comprehensive solution for your effects processing, Kilohertz has your back with their Essentials Bundle. I use these regularly since I jumped from DAW to DAW. It has everything from delays to distortions, reverbs, but my absolute favorites are Dynamics, which I use all the time, Transgate, Transient Shaper, Tape Stop, there's too many. Here I've automated a few of the plugins on a stack I've built off of a vocal loop. Once you add automation into the mix, the sound design possibilities are pretty insane. There are actually too many amazing plugins to highlight in a single video. Make sure you check out the blog post linked in the description to see the full list. Now before moving on to instruments, I wanted to talk about some mixing and utility plugins. For mixing, there's obviously OTT, TDR Nova, Span, Yulin Loudness Meter, and a new one that just came out is Beat Slammer by Baby Audio. This is a simple plugin designed to give you that aggressive bouncy compression. It's perfect for drums or a little bit on your bus or entire mix. Crispy Clip Light is also an excellent free clipper from Yum Audio. It can definitely be useful to squeeze the extra loudness out of your mixes. Another one that uses machine learning is Neural Note, a very impressive audio to MIDI transcription plugin. I tested this with several jazz piano loops and it was very impressive. The accuracy was better than most of the built-in solutions the DAWs offer. Like it was able to pick up these arpeggiated rolls. I was not expecting that much accuracy. Now, if you're still watching this video and it's before January 4th, congratulations because you can get Arturia's newest effects plugin, EFX Refract. You can essentially use the Unison engine to stack voices and then send them into effects processing with a variety of modulation options. Arturia also has an awesome free instrument, Analog Lab Play. This offers a library of 100 essential mix-ready synths, keys, pads, basses, and more.
Yeah, I really love the space mallets preset. In an analog lab, you always have eight macros to control the sound. And if you're looking for a piano instrument, it's got a beautiful American House Grand preset. I'm using the chord pads feature in Cubase, which is really fun for making chord progressions. Now, if you're looking for a fresh approach to synthesis, Regency's a synth you should check out. It draws inspiration from traditional phase distortion synthesizers. Its flow is essentially two generator layers, each featuring three editable multi-segment curves. It offers an immense amount of creative sound shaping. A new VST that emulates the old is Oxid, which models the ARP Omni 2 polyphonic synthesizer from the 1970s. This is excellent for retro strings, pads, or organs. Another emulation you should check out is the Synthesizer Expander Module. Cherry Audio recreated the classic Oberheim self-contained synthesizer module from 1974. It is excellent for synth bass patches. Now rather than emulate the past, Clev Grant is definitely trying something forward thinking with their synth, Synth Sphere. I was definitely interested in this instrument because Clev Grant makes Tomophone, a really unique instrument where you can drag and drop sounds to create synth patches. Synth Sphere is more of a basic polyphonic synthesizer but has a really unique sphere-based UI. Rather than load individual presets, you blend between parameters as you drag around the UI. I thought it would be cool to modulate this navigation parameter using Bitwig's powerful modulation system. In Bitwig, you can create custom curves and basically modulate any parameter. Add in Prisma, a free multiband distortion plugin, and supermassive and amazing reverb that you probably already know, you'll start to get some really cool sound design possibilities. Of course, no free plugin list would be complete without Labs. It's an incredibly versatile collection of instruments and I still go to it for my cinematic and orchestral sounds. And of course, Vital is one of the most amazing free synths. I actually think the way it handles MPE is better than some paid plugins. For example, I can map the pressure or the slide very easily to any parameter. And I love how it shows real time feedback of what you're doing on your controller. So if I slide my fingers or press harder on the pads on the push three, I can see how much exactly it's modulating. If you're looking for some string instruments, a newer plugin is Easy Strings by Audio Elytry. It's got violin, viola, and cello patches with a variety of articulations. IK Multimedia really threw down with Syntronic 2. There's over 100 presets of classic synths with modern twists. It's definitely one worth grabbing. Here I'm using Splice Create Mode to audition different samples alongside with this bass patch. I find auditioning presets while using Create Mode is a great way to cover a lot of grounds.
And I saved the best plugin for last, which is Front Row. Sometimes you just need a little delight and entertainment, and this plugin simply provides. <laughs> Thank you.